What's up everyone, Ruben here. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to count calories for weight loss and how to eat whatever you want and still lose weight. Pay attention to this video, especially if you're on a diet, if you're intuitively eating, or if you're just no longer seeing results. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so that I can continue to make more valuable videos just like this one. So whenever I talk about counting calories with my clients when they first get started, they hate it. They're like, no, it's just one more thing that I have to do. I don't have the time, I'm too busy, and I want to make this a lifestyle. Does that sound familiar? And part of the reason why the response is like this is because they don't know the most efficient way to do it. In today's video, I'm going to give you some tools to use to make counting calories really simple and to make it a part of your lifestyle. As a matter of fact, once you get this, this will enhance your lifestyle. You'll start looking better, and when you start looking better, you'll start feeling better. And when you start feeling better, you just start attracting more good things to you. So let's talk about the golden rule when it comes to calories and weight loss. Here it is, it's really simple. It's calories in versus calories out. And you can also look at this as cause and effect. If you're on a weight loss journey, the key is to burn more than you consume. Now, unless you have a medical condition or are taking medication that will cause weight gain, this will work for you. Way too many people, way too many people are consuming more than you are burning. And this may be the reason why your diet stopped working, why you're not seeing results, and why you keep on hitting plateaus. It's because you're neglecting your calories. You're simply overeating and underworking. So the first thing we need to do is find out how many calories we need to eat per day to reach our goal. On my website, I have a free macro calculator that will give you the exact amount of calories you need to eat per day to hit your goal. This will give us a general starting point. This calculator is really cool because you can adjust your goals, whether it's to lose weight, maintain your weight, or even gain weight if you choose to. When you click lose on the calculator, this will put you in a calorie deficit. I recommend playing around with the calculator and getting used to it. I left a link in the description to access the macro calculator. So if your goal is weight loss, all you have to do is eat this many calories per day. It's that simple. And now that we know how many calories to eat, all we have to do is track our calories. I use an app called MyFitnessPal. It's really easy to use and it offers a huge database of foods. There's also a scanner in the app so that you can scan food while you're on the go. There's also a feature that lets you save food in the app so that you don't have to log in the same foods every single day. The algorithm will suggest your most commonly eaten foods. So at the end of the day, your goal is to match the number of calories that you ate, where we find that in MyFitnessPal, to the number of calories that the calculator gave you. This means you can eat literally whatever you want as long as you match the number on the calculator. So I have this one client who loves Oreos and she was like, Ruben, I don't wanna give them up. I love them so much. I have at least one per day and you know, I'll kill somebody if I don't have these Oreos. And I was like, yo, chill. <laughs> you don't have to kill anybody. It's perfectly fine. You can have the Oreo in your program. All you have to do is track it before you eat it and don't go over your calories for the day. Now the key here is to make sure that your health comes first and that 80% of your foods that you eat are clean, single ingredient, unprocessed foods and 20% of the foods can be your fun little treats. So yes, our clients throughout the week, they have wine, they have Oreos, they have dark chocolate, they have their guilty pleasures because the 80-20 rule here gives them that balance and that balance keeps them on track. It also keeps them sane too. What you will notice is that when you eat clean throughout the day and the majority of your foods are clean, single ingredient, unprocessed foods, they usually have lower calories and this leaves room for your fun treats that you want to have, you know, to keep you sane. You no longer have to guess if the white claw or the bite of a muffin is going to throw you off track. Just track it. Numbers don't lie. Remember that most people are consuming more than they are burning. And when you become more aware of how much you're consuming, 
compared to how much you're burning, then you'll be in more control over your weight and you'll never have to diet ever again. This is when things get really fun and you're able to have more food freedom. But first, it starts with your level of awareness of where you're at to where you wanna go. If you got any value from this video, be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. If you need our help with reaching your fitness goals, I left the link in the description to apply to work with us. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.